In this video, you will learn four ways to search the library more effectively. Tip number one, phrase searching. Phrase searching lets you search for a specific combination of words. This could be a title, like Alice in Wonderland, or two or more words that represent something, such as British Columbia or human resources. Here's how you do it. Anytime you want to search for a specific combination of words, put quotation marks around them. This tells the search engine to only include results that have those words in that exact order and spelling. Your search results will likely be much more relevant too. Tip number two, truncation. Truncation lets you search for all possible word endings at the same time. You can use it by adding a star or asterisk at the end of a word. For example, a search for child with a star at the end would search for child, children, childless, childish, and so on because all of those words start with child. It's a way to save time and broaden your search. Tip number three, synonyms. Synonyms are words or phrases that mean exactly or nearly the same thing as another word or phrase in the same language. Searching with synonyms can be really useful. It's another way that you can broaden your search. There are all sorts of ways of saying the same thing in a given language, and sometimes word usage differs between groups or time periods. Enter your synonyms into the search box with OR in between them. For example, if we were searching for information related to Indigenous peoples, you might want to search for First Nations or Aboriginal or Indigenous or Native peoples. Notice how you can mix synonym searching with phrase searching for an effective search. Tip number four, the find tool. Many of the resources that you find in library search may be digital. One way that you can save time when skimming documents is by searching for specific words or terms using the Find tool. This will help you determine whether or not the source will be useful to you in your assignments, because you can jump to each point where those words are used. On your Windows computer, you can typically do this by pressing Ctrl plus F at the same time on your keyboard. On a Mac, it'll be the Command key and F. I hope that you find these tips useful. Happy searching!